Welcome, and thanks for joining us today as we introduce our new line of Magnum PXR low voltage power circuit breakers and Magnum PXR low voltage switch gear. I am Manny Fernandez, product line manager for low voltage and medium voltage breakers at Eaton, and today with me I have Mitch McLean and AJ Johnson. Gentlemen, can you please introduce yourselves? Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. My name is Mitch McLean. I'm the low voltage air circuit breaker product manager at Eaton. Welcome, and I'm AJ Johnson. I'm the product manager for low voltage switch gear. Thank you, gentlemen. Before we dive in, I uh, just want to make a quick uh, let our viewers know that we do have some uh, scammers out there. We have some links getting posted on the uh, on the chat. We are not putting any links out there, so please do not click on those. Uh, those are not from us. So we're we're doing our best to to get those folks off. So. We're excited to be here. Uh, look forward to any questions from you. If you do have questions, please put them in the chat uh, and we will do our best to try to answer them as we go through the, through the program today. Uh, Mitch, we continue to hear about digital transformation. Can you tell us what that means uh, from, from our perspective and our new products? Yeah, so great question, Manny, to start everything off. So digitalization is all about being able to gather data and use that data to make real-time decisions that help optimize your system for whatever you're using, and that's across industries, not just ours. So by going into this digital world, we have our new Magnum PXR trip unit, which we're able to plug into and connect with, which allows our users to get real-time data to optimize their system. Okay, thanks, Mitch. AJ, what does that mean for our switch gear? So for switchgear, it means capturing everything that's going on inside that big gray box. It's trying to find everything from environmental data to customer connections and now the Magnum PXR circuit breaker. The idea is that we want to capture all that data, allow customers to be able to analyze it and then make decision making much easier. Okay, thanks. Yes, anytime we can make a customer's day easier, that's, uh, that's a win for, for everybody. Uh, so Mitch, uh, as we, can you tell us more about the market and how this new solution that you have, this Magnum PXR breaker, how that's going to help a customer? Yeah, Manny. So in the market, we're seeing a lot of growth um, in demand for low voltage air circuit breakers. A lot of that is because of renewable energy sources and all of that coming into play. And also we just are seeing a more demand on the system in general or the grid in general and more power demand from all different industries. And uh, what we're trying to do is make everything more reliable and secure. So Eaton has a vision of helping make our customers more sustainable, efficient, and most importantly, safe. Okay, so can you tell us more about how specifically this product, what, what's in this Magnum PXR that's gonna help a customer do that? Yeah, so Manny, this is our, our new Magnum PXR circuit breaker. Uh, you can see from the old Magnum with Digitrip or Magnum DS, it has a new refreshed look to it. So with this, we have our new Magnum PXR trip unit. One of the cool things about it is that it has more accurate metering. Specifically for energy and power, it's accurate to 1%. So what that means is you're basically able to use the trip unit as a meter. So you don't have to go and buy an additional meter or other components in order to get that data and be able to see what's going on in the system. So that kind of helps reduce cost and footprint and that sort of thing. And users can gain insights into what is actually going on to further optimize their system. Okay, that's great. Uh, so I keep hearing about this breaker health feature that we have in uh, PXR trip units. Can you tell us more about that, please? Yeah, so some of you out there may be familiar with breaker health already if you're familiar with our power defense mold decay circuit breaker line. This is a, another edition of that just for our Magnum air circuit breakers. So what power health is, or breaker health is, is it's an algorithm that was developed by Eaton. It's looking at several different parameters that include the temperature of the contacts in the breaker, how many operations it's had, how many faults it's seen and cleared, how many overload events it's had, and how long it's been operating. And by doing that, it then tells you what the kind of life is for the breaker. So if it has 75%, 50%, or even 25% of the breaker's expected life left. And the reason that's important is then we're able to alert, or the breaker is able to alert the user as far as saying, hey, you really need to maintain this breaker, or hey, you really need to replace this breaker 
before there's an event that causes everything to go offline that creates downtime, which can be very, very costly. Okay, that's a, that's a great feature. I guess it helps that user be proactive about maintenance on the break. Yeah, and, an, and another thing is that it is on our Power Defense Molda Case line, and now it's all the way up to the Magnum line. So we have it across that entire low voltage circuit breaker portfolio. Okay, uh, so that's great. So can you tell us more about other safety features or anything else that may be new or, or improved upon with, with Magnum PXR? Yeah, so the first one that I'll talk about is our arc flash uh, maintenance reduction system, or arc flash reduction maintenance system, sorry. Um, ARMS for short. So what that is is um, we have a maintenance mode on the breaker to where you can flip on the trip unit uh, it into a maintenance mode. That doesn't change any of the settings that you had before, but what it does is it allows for the breaker to clear a fault much faster than it would before, it, or if it wasn't in that maintenance mode, which reduces the amount of energy available, which makes it safer for whoever the maintenance or operator is that's in front of the breaker. One improvement we made on that was before it was a 2.5x pickup, now it's 1.5x. Okay, great. Uh, so how about other features like uh, zone selective interlocking? Any, any improvements to that from, from what we had in Digitrip? Yeah, so a cool thing that we did was, and for zone selective interlocking, I'm just going to call that ZSI for short. So one of the cool things that we were able to do is on the trip unit display, we actually have an indication that allows you to see whether ZSI is disabled, enabled, and if it's active and actually working. So the reason that we kind of have those three things are for those three reasons, and the last one, so that way you can tell if the breaker is properly wired into the system to where it's communicating with other breakers. So in the event that there's a fault in the system, this breaker could be talking to another breaker saying, hey, do you see this fault? If that breaker says, no, nah, I don't see it, this breaker knows I can clear that fault right away. So is that ZSI in the new PXR trip unit, is that compatible with, uh, you mentioned Power Defense, or even Magnum Digitrip, the, our prior versions of ZSI? Yes, and it is compatible across the line. Okay, great. Now, the other safety feature that I keep hearing about is our motorized remote racking, or MR2, that we're putting into low voltage. Can you tell us, can you tell the audience a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, so MR2 is our industry-exclusive motorized remote racking device. It's really cool. It actually sits inside of the breaker, and it's all integrated within it. So it allows you to remotely rack the breaker in and out of the cell, and it's done through a pendant, uh, through one of Eaton's dashboard products, or uh, through discrete controls. It's really cool. So it actually can control multiple breakers with a single pendant and all sorts of other things. It's very, very neat. Hey, that's really cool. That's uh, very similar to what we have in our medium voltage switch gear. So, Precisely. Awesome. So one more question for you, Mitch. Uh, I see that PXR trip unit on the, on the left of the breaker there. It doesn't have any dials. How, how do you set that up? Can you tell us more about any software or anything that we have coming out with uh, Magnum PXR? Yeah, and that's a great observation, Manny. We, I have the, our two different trip units right next to me, our PXR20 and our PXR25, you may find it weird that the PXR25 doesn't have any dials on it. And that's because we have our Power Expert Protection Manager. Uh, that's our software program that we use to uh, first off set um, or configure set points. Uh, and through it, you can capture waveforms and reset the trip unit. You can gather all the real time data you want. And another cool part about the software is you can run secondary injection testing on it and all you need is a USB cable in your laptop with PXPM already installed on it. So by doing that, it reduces the need for a kit to have to be hauled out and set up and all that sort of stuff. And you can run that in injection test with that USB port, and then the software will actually generate an entire report that gives you all the data and shows you all the set points and everything that happened during that test. Very, very cool. And that's, it's available at eaton.com slash pxpm. It's free, and there's also a QR code that should be on the screen, and you can follow that, and it'll take you right to the web page. Okay, thanks, Mitch. That's, uh, that's great. great. Great feature. Good to see that there's no more test, re test kits required. So uh, quick question here is, so for 
a customer that does not want to have communication, so does not need the energy metering, why should they switch to, to this product? And I'm asking this to both of you because it's on the breaker, but it's also a, a switchgear uh, solution. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and go first yeah, go since I've been talking. <laughs> uh, so I would say the, the main reason you'd still want to go with Magnum PXR is primarily because of safety. Um, the last couple of things I talked about, um, specifically ARMS and having the update to that, and also the uh, ZSI feature and knowing what's going on within the system. I'd say that's pretty crucial and, and safety I think is the most important thing and that's the reason circuit breakers exist in the first place. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna reiterate a lot of what Mitch has already said. For us, it's more about the modernizing and the safety aspect and the additional things that come into play when you go to a modernized trip unit. So while Digitrip has been great and gotten us to where we are today, we need something that's a little bit more up to date that can get us to where we want to go and being able to protect customers. Okay, thank you, thank you both. Uh, AJ, another question for you. Yes. So what if a customer wants to retrofit Magnum DS switch gear with a new Ma Magnum PXR breaker? Can they do that? As of right now, the answer to that is no. Um, we are looking at developing a retrofit kit, but because of all the other changes that are occurring with this update for Magnum PXR switch gear, the recommendation is that they go with a whole new assembly, um, and I'll touch on a little bit of why they would want to do that a okay. little later on. Okay, thanks, AJ. Uh, so just looking at uh, how this solution, can you tell us more how this solution will impact the switchgear market and, and the solutions that we offer? So the market we've seen today, despite all the economic challenges and supply chain challenges that are out there, we still continue to see market growth. And along with that, we've seen a drive to have more connectivity, and that's really coming from three things. The first of which is the fact that we have an aging power infrastructure out there that is long overdue for some overhaul. The second is we've seen reshoring of US manufacturing that is increasing within the US, so there's new ma manufacturing locations yeah. popping up. And then last but not least, we've seen continued expansion of both healthcare and data center facilities. And from them, we've seen a heavy drive to have more connectivity and an understanding of what's occurring within Switchgear so they can increase their uptime and reliability and being more proactive versus reactive. Okay, those are all great points, AJ. So as, we, as you look at the market and, and specifically those, what changes can we expect to see in the switch gear and how are we addressing specifically those, uh, those, those challenges? <laughs> yeah, so the first and probably the most obvious one is gonna be the integration of the Magnum circuit breaker with power expert release trip units built into them. So those will be getting integrated into the gear. The second is we are going through some aesthetic changes to give our switch gear a little bit more of a modernized look and to set it apart from how our Magnum DS switch gear has looked. And then last but not least are what I was referring to is some of the mechanical safety features that are gonna be outside of that trip unit and why they wanna upgrade. So with that, you're gonna see through the door Kirk keys as well as breaker interlocking. That's great, great, appreciate that. Uh, so do you expect to see that, you know, we're talking about switch gear, UL 1558 switch mm -hmm. gear. Are you expecting to see that also into the UL 891 switchboards and our offering for those? So we do have plans for integration um, to update our, our version of the switchboards. Um, but right now our focus is really gonna be on the switch gear piece. That's what, you know, our core line is built around. That's what we're focused on. But in the coming years, we do plan on integrating that. Now, if there are customers that want to see the Power Expert Release Trip Unit um, within a switchboard today, they do have the option of going with the Power Defense molded case that is in the Powerline Expert switchboards. Okay, thanks. And so, Manny, if I could interrupt real quick, we do have our Power Defense NF and RF breakers that can go in switchboards, and we're actively working on a Magnum version of the Magnum SB for power defense as well that'll have that PXR trip unit in it. Okay, great. Any, any hints you want to give on when that may be <laughs> available? Well, we're planning on the, uh, the end of this year, early next year. Okay, so great. That's a- uh, Yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> awesome. That's a lot of great things coming for, for our switch gear and switchboard lineup. So, okay. So let's take a look at some additional questions that may have, that we may, may have come in. Uh, AJ, for you, uh, what if a customer still wants to buy Magnum DS switch gear? What if they want to stick with Magnum DS switch gear? Can they do that? So for the foreseeable future, Magnum DS switch gear isn't going anywhere. 
Um, over the next four to five years or so, we're going to be expanding the Magnum PXR offering to have a one-for-one -one option of going against Magnum DS. And until we get at least to that point, Magnum DS will be able to be ordered side by side with Magnum PXR. Customers will have both options. Okay, so aside from from the aesthetics of what we're changing, any mm -hmm. any other enhancements or improvements? So the aesthetics themselves really serve um, two purposes. So the first is you know make it look nice, new updated look. But the second is really something that we've also adopted into our marketing collateral. So the idea is we want to give someone that may not necessarily be familiar with the ideas of Magnum DS and Magnum PXR out in the field, an easy way to communicate back to someone on the phone of what they're standing in front of or what they're dealing with. So someone on the phone from our technical group, our services group could say, okay, what does the Eaton look like on that gear? Is it this blue and silver sticker that they're used to seeing with Magnum DS or is it going to be this new um, black and silver style um, badge that's on the gear. And if from that one question, they can understand what the customer's working with and dealing with, so that way there's less confusion. And our collateral is designed to do the same thing. There's a new look to it, and that way they can understand, okay, this is clearly, you know, for this new generation, this is for what has been previously produced. Okay, thank you. And thank you, gentlemen. I, so as I look, I think we may have had some technical difficulties with the, with the questions. Uh, so if you do have questions, put them on the feed later, and we'll, we'll go back to those and answer those for you. So, uh, so really appreciate everybody's participation today and look forward to uh, a successful launch here. So we're going to flash a QR code up there now. If you want to learn more about our Arc Flash safety solutions, uh, make sure to go to that QR code and download the, the white paper that, that will be attached. All right. And if you'd like a quote on any of our products, please make sure that you reach out to your local Eaton sales engineer for a quote to get all of that taken care of. And for Switchgear, go ahead and reach out to your normal salesperson and go through your local DSE like you've done in the past. Thank you, gentlemen. Great reminder. So that concludes our session today. We appreciate, gentlemen, we appreciate you being here today. And to the us. audience, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Have Thanks, a great day. Everyone.